हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ पॉल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व ए ट्रैवलिंग सेल्समैन प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द ओपन सोर्स गूगल वर्ड टूल्स कंसीडर ऑल 188 मेजर सिटीज़ इन इंडिया एंड लेट्स से वी वांट टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए सिटी कोलकाता एंड वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल्स थ्रू ऑल दिस सिटीज विजिट ऑल दिस सिटीज इन इंडिया एंड इवेंचुअली कम बैक टू दी स्टार्टिंग सिटी कोलकाता and in this case we want to minimize the total travel distance and we want to visit all the cities only once and we don't want to leave out any cities unvisited so how do you do that and given this so many combinations are possible what is the optimal way to do that so in this problem we are going to look at this and the finally the when we solve the problem we are going to look at what is this optimal route looks like like this is this line shows us the optimal route in which way we will be traversing through all the cities i will also uh, talk about how we are going to generate this plot uh, using the open source kepler gl um, in this video cool so first of all we will um, install the open source go over to in the google colab Okay, so we have installed the latest version of Word Tools 9.4 and the protobuf version also. So now we are going to also install the Excel writer uh, so that we can write our output in the Excel files. Now we are going to import couple of important packages that we are going to use. For example, pandas, math functions like cosine etc. and the uh, constraint solver from word tools that we which the package that we just now installed and from there we will be importing two different modules one is on uh, routing enums pv2 which is primarily used to call different solvers in word tools uh, from constraint solver and we are going to um, import the python wrapper for the constraint programming solver and of course the uh, excel uh, writer as well as the uh, default dictionary from the collection package Let's do that. Then we are reading the Indian Cities Lad Long dataset. Uh, it is available online and downloaded from Kaggle. And we are going to set uh, the initial starting point as Kolkata. So we are removing that row from the our dataset. And then we are creating two different dictionaries where city ID having the key and the lat latitude and longitude at the values. Cool. Now. Okay, we have not imported the data set, so let's just import the data set. So I have it in my local. I am just uploading the data set here. Yeah, it, we are fine to recycle it after this one. Cool. So the data set we can see is imported now. We can now run this cell. Okay, so we have run this cell. Now let us look at how the data set is looking like. So we can just quickly see the. data set and let's also print on the shape of the data set so we have in total 187 cities after exploring kolkata so in in total we had 188 cities and these are different uh, data we are we only care about the city and their lat longs uh, we defined a hiver sign uh, distance function which is going to consume the uh, lat long information of two different uh, locations from and to and it is going to return the distance between now we are going to create our first data model that is going to be uh, used as an input in our word tools model so inside vrp we treat everything as nodes so uh, the city id that we have here we are going to convert them into some integers and nodes So let's say our initializing initializing the depot city as our node ID zero, and we are creating certain uh, dictionaries like latitude and longitudes, and also we need to remap the data set when we are going to print the solution to their original IDs. So we are having an original ID dictionary. So our depot node is zero. Our original ID dictionary zero is Kolkata, and uh, latitude and longitude of Kolkata we have put it here. 
then we have our uh, for all these cities we are going to um, create and fill this latitude and longitude dictionary that we already have here and we are going to fill the nodes as well nodes list then we are going to create two different uh, dictionaries one is on location another is on distance so for the from node within the from to two nodes we are going to fill these um, dictionaries uh, like the distance from to two node we are going to calculate using the distance metric tables and distance metric that we have defined above right okay finally we are going to return uh, a dictionary data having all these important values like location distance metrics original id etc and since it's a traveling salesman problem so we have only one vehicle so now let's run this I'll come to the paint solution detail later. Um, let's just for now, let's just assume that we need this to uh, get all our solutions and uh, write to the files. So finally, we have this main module. What we do here is we first call the uh, create data model uh, that we just defined above the function. This is going to return us the data uh, dictionary. Then we are going to um, call the Python wrapper that we have imported from War Tools and we are going to uh, define the routing manager based on the data set. Um, then we are going to define the uh, routing uh, object from uh, the routing model manager. Then we are going to define a distance callback function where we can insert two different uh, indices from and to index. And uh, this is going to return us the, uh, the distance between the two points. Then we are going to register this distance callback function in the routing object. And we are going to set the uh, cost of each arc as the distance between the two nodes. Now finally we are defining the search parameters that um, so this is how we define the routing search parameter. And then we are defining our first solution strategy. So there are various solution strategies are available with our tools. So if we just go to the war tools and go to the routing option, so we can see that we can set different uh, parameters like solution limit. We can set the different first solution strategies like uh, savings method, uh, path cheapest arc insertion. Then there are various like uh, meta heuristic algorithms as well, like guided local search, simulated anything, table search, etc. So we are uh, using one of them like parallel cheapest insertion here and uh, the search parameter we are the meta we are using is guided local search now what we are going to do here is that uh, we are going to set the time limit now we are setting the time limit for the search parameters like let's say initially we done with only for two seconds and let's see what is the solution that we get and then we will run it for 50 or 60 seconds to compare how much solution quality we are improving and finally if the solution is valid and then we are going to paint the solution so now let's call the main function to run the optimization model so here we go we have got our first solution ready so let's note down our first solution here and let's rerun it for a little longer duration let's say we run it for 60 seconds and let's see if we get any kind of improvement in the solution So as you can see, the execution time under shows us the uh, progress in time. Okay, so we have got uh, another solution. Now let us compare these two solutions that how much improvement that we have got by running for additional. Oh, I think we missed one force. Okay, so for by running another additional uh, 58 seconds, I have saved actually 142 kilometers more. And we have also uh, going, we have also generated uh, this root plot, root plot uh, file here, which is uh, having now two different informations that we're going to look through. So now I'm going to show you like how we can plot this solution uh, over the open source uh, Kepler GL. Um, so first of all, let us install the Kepler. Oh, 
okay so we are done with installing the kepler gl now i'm going to import the important packages um, some of these are already imported i'm still uh, re-importing them just to avoid any errors now we have importing the geometry and the kepler gl package which we just installed now i'm setting the uh, input file as the root uh, root plot uh, the file that we have just here generated and then i'm reading this input file uh, here i'm generate i am setting the rider id as the key and the entire uh, root values as the uh, dictionary key value so this was the original df and i have a root df as a dictionary um, then I am uh, importing the lat long um, sheet from the excel root plot so where I have like the id as my uh, key and latitude and longitude as my uh, values in the dictionary so finally then I am going to create a line data set where what I am going to do is in this line data set I am going to have the latitude longitude followed by the latitude and um, for every rider i'm since this there is only one rider here and this code is going to be generic like if i have if i go move on to like vehicle loading problem also and if, when you have multiple vehicles this code is going to be generic so i can plot uh, for every vehicle what will be their routes so let's run this line string so now i am saving this i'm going to save this uh, line data set uh, in my original data format so now let's look at the line data set output so i have the router rider id and i have the live uh, line string data set here so i have got the uh, line tsp output also that i just created okay so i don't have any config right now so which is why i am getting this error no worries so i'm going to generate a new config and i'm going to set it uh, later so for now i'm just going to hide this comment and uh, going to run with the recent data set that i have just generated okay so google is telling me that i need to enable this following custom widget manager and um, i have given the permission to google now to enable the custom widget manager now once i run this uh, module i get the output so here i can actually customize my plottings so i have already got the plot how the plot is generated uh, now i'm going to actually add a different um, data set on the latitude and longitude so i'm naming it as lat longs and uh, within that i'm going to select my data set this is the latitude and longitude data i'm going to select i want to select the type also this should be point so i have here three fields uh, latitude and i'm going to fill the longitude for the longitude and i don't need anything here for the colors i can select colors based on the different ids city ids i can have different colors and i would like to increase the radius of the cities a little more and if I can also, I could have also selected the city address, but it looks very easy. So let me just remove that. Cool, we are done with the settings. Now we can close this one. And now we can just regenerate the, we can just save the map as some uh, as an HTML output. And following which we can actually also save the config value here. And from the next time now we once we are going to run read the config we can actually read the config from the data set now we have the config and we can we don't need to do this manual adjustment anymore we can just directly uh, read from this config file and it will automatically generate us the output so this is how we have generated this final output uh, here so we have come to the end of this video I am planning to put more videos on the modeling of various operational research and data science problems. If you like this video then do hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel. Also let me know in the comment uh, if you have any questions or um, any uh, topic specific topic that you would like to watch in the future. Thank you everyone.